Chris Hall, South Dakota Game Fishing Parks. Behind me, the Missouri River. The flooding event of 2011 affected many communities up and down this river. Lake Yankton, right below Gavin's Point, was inundated with water. Along with that water came Asian carp. In the last couple years, Asian carp have pushed out every game fish and panfish in that lake. So the Nebraska Game Fish Commission, South Dakota Game Fish and Parks, and the Army Corps of Engineers decided that Lake Yankton needed a new start. Before the lake's facelift can begin, South Dakota Game Fish and Parks crews spend three days electrofishing and netting for any game or panfish available. Then the lake drawdown begins. After the lake has been drawn down, the chemical is applied. Uh, the chemical that's used uh, to eradicate the fish population is called rotenone. Rotenone is actually a, a natural plant substance obtained from certain species of plants down in South America. Um, Native South Americans actually use the chemical to obtain fish for, for eating and stuff like that. Sure. Um, the process uh, uh, basically involves uh, placing this rote known in the water and making sure that it's uniformly mixed through the water column uh, so there's uh, no refuge for, for the fish. And uh, what the chemical does to the fish is it breaks down the chemical reaction um, within the fish that allows fish to breathe underwater. Um, in order to kill the fish, uh, they have to be exposed to this chemical. Uh, with the four, le uh, four wheelers in the drip stations uh, was, was our attempt to, uh, to uh, make sure that that inflowing fresh water was chemically treated so so the fish would not find any refuge from the chemical. Rotenone is not known to affect uh, any air-breathing, uh, warm-blooded animals, things like that. Uh, you know, there'll be there'll be birds out there feeding on the fish carcasses and all that, and it's not going to harm them at all. Uh, understanding is uh, Nebraska plans to stock uh, largemouth bass, uh, bluegill, and catfish yet this fall, and then. Uh, uh, next year it'll be uh, stocked with walleyes and uh, probably another stocking of, of catfish, bluegills, and uh, bass. So there you have it. This cooperative effort between South Dakota Game Fish and Parks, the Nebraska Game Fish Commission, and the Army Corps of Engineers has given this popular lake, Lake Yankton, a fresh start. Uh, stocking should begin uh, early October of 2014 with uh, largemouth and, like Todd said, bluegills. Uh, the great thing about this is that with a lake being brand new again, that uh, bass and bluegill should grow quickly. Um, expect 12-inch uh, bass by 2016 and catchable bluegills even before then. So for Game Fishing Parks, I'm Chris Hall. Happy fishing!